Welcome everyone, I'm Jordan Sharp. The Super Bowl is finally set in northern New Jersey between the Denver Broncos and the Seattle Seahawks. And we've seen some incredible line moving over the last 12 hours in this game, but I'm here to give you some of the trends here for between these two teams and some of their playoff and regular season odds and stats. Some things to look at here as we head into the beginning of the first week before the Super Bowl. And we'll start it off with both of these teams who have been very good against the spread bets here throughout the, the entire season. The Denver Broncos Broncos, including the playoffs, are 11-6-1 against the spread here this season, while the Seattle Seahawks come in right ahead of them at 12-6 against the spread, including their two playoff games as well. Both teams have been incredibly good. The Hawks, always uh, always very good at home, but now heading out on the road is a little bit suspect for them here in this game, and whether or not they'll be able to continue their incredible play away from home all the way across the country. Now, the uh, Peyton Manning and the Broncos here, since he's taken over uh, in Denver. He is only 1-2 and two against the spread in the playoffs, while Russell Wilson 3-1 and one against the spread. However, I think a lot of the conversation about Peyton Manning being a bad playoff quarterback has to have subsided after his two uh, past games here recently, and especially if he wins the big one here coming up in a couple of weeks. Now, of course, John Fox, he'll be returning to the Super Bowl here after 11 years off of when he took the Panthers there and lost to Tom Brady and the Patriots, but he did cover that game, so Fox is 1-0 and against the spread in his Super Bowl career, while Peyton Manning won one and one, both straight up and against the spread in his uh, Super Bowl career. 11 and 11 straight up is his postseason record, but right now, Manning has been on an incredible roll here this postseason. Threw for 400 yards against the uh, Patriots in the AFC title game. So far, he's thrown four, thrown four touchdowns and only one interception here in these playoffs. And among uh, among quarterbacks with 20 or more postseason starts in their career, Manning ranks fourth all-time in completion percentage, first in yards per game, and third in yards per attempt. And those are above some really good names here on that list including Joe Montana, uh, Steve Young, and John Elway, and others as well, including um, Tom Brady in that matchup as well. So I think that even though the Hawks don't have much experience in this game heading into it in, in the Super Bowl and or the playoffs, along with Pete Carroll, their coach, do think they pose a really good problem here or really good uh, matchup for the uh, uh, Denver Broncos in this one. I think uh, Peyton and the Broncos could potentially take advantage of that defense and they could be looking like a pretty solid bet with their experience and with these trends here that I've just gone over. So that'll do it for me this time. Make sure you check out my other NFL odds updates as we go along throughout the week as well as some of my previews of prop betting and other Super Bowl articles all throughout this week and next week as we head into the uh, big game. But until then, I'm Jordan Sharp and this has been another edition of The Sharp Pick.